because I had no, no problems before in my life, nothing. Michael Current is trying to solve a medical mystery. He spent 11 days in the hospital after he had sharp pain, shortness of breath, and doctors found fluid around his collapsed right lung. He says the inside of the lung resembled an orange peel. So they had to, you know, get all that fluid out, and I'm laying in bed for days getting this fluid draining. Current says there was seven liters of fluid. He's been vaping for years as an alternative to cigarettes, which he used to smoke. But he's concerned following the death of a patient in Illinois, considered the first link to vaping. Now, Cincinnati Children's Hospital confirms doctors have treated a patient who admitted to vaping and whose illness couldn't be linked to anything else. Dr. D.P. Suresh with St. Elizabeth Healthcare says vaping is at a level of epidemic proportions, especially with teens. It's a chemical irritant. None of our lungs are made the same way. For all you know, the kid may have asthma. Next thing you know, it's a new chemical and they get really sick. So this may be the tip of the iceberg that we, we are seeing. Current hopes doctors and health officials will learn more as he recovers. They said so far, so good. But they, they're all scratching their heads. I said, how, how this happened? They, they just don't, they don't know. I don't know. All right, so again, Children's Hospital officials couldn't give us any specific information about the case they're working. Meanwhile, Current says he still vapes some. He also says the closest diagnosis his doctors could come to was pneumonia. Reporting live, Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.